thing. <laughs> I have been roped into this thing. We're from the Sims. Stomach Way, thing. let's go. Let's get draw. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, don't get back with your mommy. It's not that kind of video. <laughs> Hey guys, ah, missed you. Anyway, um, quick disclaimer before we get into the video. This is a very chilled, relaxed, wholesome video with me and my madre and you'll see it's quite long so grab a cup of tea, get cozy. It's just that type of video, you know. Right now in Nairobi it's raining so get comfy, get cozy, grab a cup of tea and um, yeah, enjoy the video. See you in a bit. Bye. Well, cheers to you being on my channel for the very first time. I'm excited to have you on. But yeah, cheers, mom. Happy to have you. Thank you very much. I don't know what I'm in for, but <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you really We've don't. not even discussed what you would ask me, but anyway, cheers. Happy to be on your channel, darling. We have to look at each other, yeah. So, would you like to introduce yourself to the people? The Who people. are you? What's your name? My name is Mary uh, Kimoso Mukindia. <laughs> but for ease, most people say Mary Mukindia. And I'm Mukami's mom. This beautiful, Hi, lovely, 21 year old, beautiful girl. That's my yeah. baby. That's my daughter. My only daughter. So, I asked you guys on Instagram to send in questions, no matter how wild or how tame they are. And a lot of you came through as usual. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for interacting on my socials. <sighs> So let's see what we have ahead, shall we? Shall we you dive into not even it? your questions. No, because that would be too easy. You know, I know everything about you. Okay. I know okay. everything about you. Well, almost that everything. That makes me more <clears throat> okay. at ease. Or no, nervous. Yeah. yeah. All this and no trepidations. If you don't want to comment, take a sip of your drink. Okay. Yeah. Good. Say it. Mm -mm. That's a good game. I like my wine. <laughs> yeah, I said on my Instagram, my mom and I's favorite pastime is drinking wine and chatting shit. So, uh, excuse me, chatting. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. No, not gossiping, but like we just like we to chat talk. about. Yeah, we talk a lot about we're life. Friends. Yeah, we're friends. We're friends. We're good friends, and we talk She's about anything and everything. everything. Right. So someone asked, mm -hmm. "What's your favorite thing about each other? What's your favorite thing about me, mom?" I honestly think it's your heart. You have a beautiful, Aww. gentle, peaceful. I told you, peacemaker. Yeah. Yeah, you have a gentle, beautiful heart. I just love that. You love people. You always know everybody's name, the watchman's name, the waiter's name. <laughs> you know your friends' names. You get annoyed with me because I forget. Oh my people's gosh, names. she's so she knows, annoying. Okami knows everybody's name. Any Anybody and everybody, the driver's name, the Uber driver, she remembers the Uber driver's name. I don't know. The app came, I don't know his name. She <laughs> you knows have his to name. Look. She knows you people's names. You have to names. be polite. You yeah. know what yeah. I that, mean? that I love about you've got a beautiful hand. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, mom. But I'm bad with names for new people. Like, say if people invite me out and about, and I'm like, oh yeah, my name is. So yeah, I'm coming. I always forget. But yeah, when it yeah. comes to like staff and stuff like that, no, I you're always... very good. You're good with names. Which I is remember. Nice. My favorite thing about my mom. You know how I am about so feedback. Much. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know how people are like really good at feedback and can take it on the chin. It's not. <laughs> that's not my mom. It's good to do, but I don't do it. Yeah. yeah. It's so many. But I think my favorite thing about her is how resilient she is and how hardworking she is. And how actually, how she commands a room. If Mary McKendia walks into the room, you will notice. She's the most confident, sure of herself person. I have. Oops. It's been like okay. two minutes into the video. Yeah. Don't worry about the floor. You see how nice she is? She's cleaning the floor. <laughs> Okay, it's That's so funny because growing up, if I didn't clean it immediately, what would you say? Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. So, that's what. so you were saying that I okay. command the room when I walk okay. in. No, no, okay. leave the glass there. Okay, I want to stay. Okay, can it and put it back, darling. <laughs> I'm already commanding you. Oops, and it's your channel. Sorry, guys. I'm not always like this. I'm such a nice understanding. <laughs> She's such a control anybody. freak. No, I'm not. No, no, no. Oh, never that. Yeah, you never. What was Kami like growing up? Tell us your funniest memory from that time. Honestly, I'm very surprised at this Kami that I've sort of seen since you were like 14, 15, 13, a little bit, but 14, 15 and going on. Mukami was an extremely quiet, shy girl. Literally, nobody ever thought she spoke. You used to hide behind my big African boo-boos <laughs> and my clothes and she'd be behind me. She never spoke. She was very intelligent, very sharp-eyed, picked every conversation but would never speak. But if I asked her to speak and say something, or she would chat and then keep quiet. So almost everybody used to think, 
does she talk and i said well, does she talk she plays with her brother they make noise but yeah. as soon as people came in visitors anybody and everybody will say how will you ever have separate with us you'll have separation anxiety and in school you were extremely conscientious very hard working had to do your work perfectly so everybody thought mokami didn't talk mokami had didn't have her own mind but we the family knew and then suddenly you kind of blossomed out i remember once in, in school when your headmistress mrs im at ICK spoke to me. No, it was my year one teacher. If oh, you're talking about oh, my year Rusinga. one, Rusinga, this, my year one yeah, teacher talked to my mom. Yeah, that Mukami doesn't talk, doesn't make, doesn't whatever. And they told me, so I told her, I told you, I came and spoke to you and said, it's okay to talk. You can speak in class, you can ask questions. And then she was like, who's this new person? It's a chatable. And I was like, oh, she can't okay. stop talking. She, you know, sort of like your mom told you, you can talk, it's okay, speak, and that's it. Poof, gone. She started talking and has never stopped. So when she started a YouTube channel, I was like, that quiet child that one who could not talk the one who had to say mokami it's okay you can speak to people the one who did like strangers at all that girl is a youtuber even for me it's a bit of a shock so yeah that's what they were like but you always love peace you didn't like uh, conflict. conflict at all yeah people quarreling people are not hate nice that. to each other you hate, hate that, that completely the zero that. tolerance yeah. for that you're so that's okay what your honest opinion of me dropping out of school no i'm good with it had it been when i was not an experienced parent <laughs> <laughs> It would have been another thing. Yeah. But she's got an older brother and he also went to the UK and he's not for everybody. And so he came back and joined university here and then did several other things. So I've really become more and also I became an emotional you know, I became an emotional intelligence practitioner. I also be, I then in between I became a coach and I'm really aware that it's about life, it's about the quality of life, it's not about things, degrees, you know, things you tick a box. You tick a box like image mm -hmm. things to hold and say, yeah. Oh yeah, here's my degree, yeah. here's all I've accomplished now. No, it's yeah. about the person. You always told me Absolutely. That. So I think I've become wiser as I get older. So I've actually really realized that it's not about the things that you put after your name it's the kind of life and the quality of life you're having so I'm, I'm very fine with it do you think you having me late if you guys don't know my mom had me later than most like 40 what 40 42 mm -hmm. she had me when she was 42 she doesn't mind sharing that day and the first one at 38 yeah Lenny, so I, you guys know when they I'm know a my late brother. bloomer you know bloomer late <laughs> those people get things late you know the class was over three days ago then you catch what the teacher was saying that is That's me her. but like she was too busy killing it in the corporate world to think about having children and period have children when you want to have children don't let society tell you went to have children you know i have friends that are like panicking mm. at 22 that they're not having kids and that's why i'm so relaxed about it because i'm like my mom had me when she was in her early 40s 42, 42. you're fine like you're oh, actually okay. fine. You're fine and there's plus or minus some people want to have their children young and grow up with their children and do all those bungee jumping things and racing through. yeah that was never <laughs> that's that what me never. <laughs> coming from a corporate meeting remove my shoes it's still in my skirt and put on some shoes and then we run a little bit of the parents race but really run your own race don't do what other people are doing because they're doing it do what's good for you so i made my career i moved up in the world you know i worked abroad as an expatriate i did many things and that's why i'm so children. british guys yeah that's why she's the reason but i was gonna yeah. ask no, i was very happy to have you at 42. Aww. One doctor met me and told me, Guy, maybe we'll be coming and singing, but I to one when you're 50. Oh, I only had two, so I didn't yeah. do that. But I loved it, and you're a child of an older woman, and there's a lot of wisdom so that comes from ask. that. Yeah, exactly. Like, do you think the reason you're so patient, and <laughs> she can be patient, she can be impatient, but do you think the reason why you're so understanding about a lot of things is because of your age? I think so. I think yeah, so too. There's a lot of wisdom. I think so too. Yes. What advice would she, being you, give? to other mothers in terms of supporting their children in their mental health? I would say that admit you don't know. I think many of us think we know, but there's so much we don't know. Even you're teaching me every day. Yeah. So be guided by experts because you know we took some time to find your therapist therapist we took you to one who was highly recommended excellent she was great and then 
you found you had a conflict of interest mm -hmm. in that you, you knew many of her families and your friends and then we said okay let's move and to take to find that one your first therapist gave me a couple of names Second, yeah exactly so she referred us so always get somebody on referral because then somebody who's close to you knows them they have a stake in it they want you to do well so they give you people they know even in business that's how business works you give work to people you know you don't want to give a stranger you don't know and then they go mess it up and you refer them so we were referred by your former therapist right. to a couple of them we talked to them and then we chose somebody and she's the one actually who guided me telling me right. leave her don't question her just like give her let space her be. let her be what you speak <laughs> is confidential yeah. but i'm now confident because i was referred to and then i've you know she, she's on my trust and i've earned her trust we leave you to but to your business i think that that's a really good point but i think mm. what they're asking is mm. how did you even get to that point where you can accept being referred to because you know so many parents are so close-minded about mental health like what do you mean you want me to spend thousands of shillings on therapy that's not a real illness you know what i mean so yeah. what advice would you give to i would say Say honestly, be open minded to read. It's, it's all around us. There's you, no excuse. There's Anything, no excuse. There's you go on so CNN, you go on you go on um, Citizen, you go on KTN, you go on um, you know NTV, any newspaper, anything you read every day is talking to you about mental wellness, it's talking about offices, people are jumping off buildings. I had a very good friend who jumped off a building, you know. And you've a seen big me organization. And my generation go through yeah. so much you go through so much. Yeah, so it's all around you. Just open up your mind and say, it's not other people. Other people is me. You know, sometimes you say, oh, that won't happen to me. It's other people. No, things happen to you. You, you, you. Yeah. It's not other people. And I want to say, like, I am very blessed to have such a mother that's so supportive and understanding. And I think that's the impression you guys get because I always talk about how supportive she is and everything. But don't get me wrong, it was a journey. I started this journey when I was 14, and back then, I hope you don't mind me no, saying, I was not like no. she didn't understand it. I didn't at understand all, it. I at thought all. it's like, yeah, you get over it. Oh, what's yeah. this? And then, and then I went to the UK, and when you saw how lonely and depressed I got in school, then you were like, That's oh, when. like this is how it actually manifests. And itself. I was also talking to your school mistress right. and your your house. You remember Carpenter House? Yeah. You know, you first went to that horrible first house, and I told them, put you in Carpenter. You must be with Janet. And those were some good people. What's wrong with them? I made such a fuss. No offense to mental girls, but my mom did not want me to go to mental. Uh -uh. And I don't want to go to mental. And I kicked up a fuss all 6,000 miles away or whatever, yeah. kilometers way away. So honestly, at the beginning, even when you're in Kenya, to me it was, ah, those things. No, no, you're fine. You could be a little low. But when she went to the UK and then we started talking with your school mistress, your, I mean your, your house mistress and I started to understand, then you would talk a lot to me and that's when I had to like, and you mean this thing is serious? It's serious, like you know, the Afri very us as Africans born, right? you're not whatever, just go and eat and sleep, you'll be fine. <laughs> So you have a rip over your head, like what do you have yeah. to complain about? What's your problem? There are people without, 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 without life. Exactly. They don't have such a good life. Yeah. yeah. There's no reason why. So we I, I didn't sort of come in there wise and whatever. But no. once I did and I started reading it and I realized it was something, then I paid attention. So what's the message here to parents? Be more sensitive. Don't be like me at the beginning. Yeah, but you have to be a little bit more sensitive. Think there could be something in it. Yeah, yeah. There's something more there. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Someone asks, how are you guys so close? Because some of our African moms are just so distant and too conservative. Do you openly share with her your boyfriend and relationship stuff, problems, <laughs> etc? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I just ask it? Ask Only it? post the fact. <laughs> Never do. No, it. I do. I. I I would come to her crying, like think about it. Like last year I'd come to your bed crying, telling yeah, you things. But after many, many things had happened. Yeah. So I was getting angry because it was like, this has been happening. I've and been you crying know. to my girlfriend. I didn't know whatever. So yes, we do share, but you literally, you, you are very private also. So I get to know them like after when you've really suffered and you've gone through a lot of stuff, you know, towards the back end. That's when I get to know. And then I you also say, yeah, know all my friends were telling me the same. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm like, you mean it's been longer than that? <laughs> it's because I know you're such a mother bear and I don't want you, in case like we sort things out, I don't want you to start hating the boy, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'd rather come to you where it's like, wow, mom, I'm really, really struggling and I need like some advice. But to answer your question, how did we get so close? I've always been a mommy's girl, I have. But when I went to the UK when I was 15 and I didn't see her as much as I wanted to or could have, and we just speak every 
Day. Day. She became my bestie. Mom was but my even, bestie. even when you when you went to the US, oh yeah, you were like what, eleven? Oh no, uh, twelve. Twelve. And you went for a whole summer. Yeah, yeah. And you were with Uncle Mai. So it, it started from those those trips when you would go when you went to 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 Washington with Akin and Wenda and Shungu, and I, <laughs> they left you. They left you on the train. They, they, we didn't get on the train mm. and you got on the train and she was alone and how old were you? I was 13. 13? Mm. And you were alone. You didn't know Guys, where you were I was going. in the middle of Washington DC. <laughs> my brother and his best friend, who is basically like my older brother as well, they left me on a train. Like fair enough, like maybe I shouldn't have been absent-minded and walked on when I shouldn't have. But they were supposed to be behind you walking into the yeah, I got train. And I told them, look after Mokami. What do they do? They're all getting onto the train. They're chatting away. Mukami gets in the train. The doors close. Going somewhere. She's 13. And these two big boys, they see her going on the train. No, like, and they're on the platform. I mean, what looking after you is that? No, they, they really, really looked up after me. It was just one little mistake. So how do you... This is such a good question. Thank you, guys. How do you instill discipline while still being a friend? How did you... Know? Oh, my God. That's such a good question. Because I feel like you do still instill discipline while still maintaining... Honestly, I don't know. No, but I think, I think honestly, I'm an easy I'm, child. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm an easy. No, I think I'm blessed uh, because both of my children are very respectful. They're very good. I think I don't know, but I think it starts at the very beginning. If you're not strict and you set the rules and the way at the beginning, it's so hard to pull back. Yeah. So I know in the older days, long time ago, when you she were was like, very strict, I was very like strict. They very strict. I was strict. a monster. Yeah. Even Mwenda. Like very very. Let strict. me tell you that can we even think so. Yeah. Are we allowed to talk about the might they, sue me? Will no, sue me for uh, this is Kenyan. Kenya, South no. America for parental <laughs> abuse. So from when they were very young, it was clear rules are rules, standards are standards. Everybody clearly the rules were very clear. What you can do, not do, clean up, whatever. We used to have chores and yeah. I used to we have to have like a rota. Rota. This question was probably one of the most asked questions. Mm. If you could tell your twenty one year old self anything or twenty year old self anything, give any piece of advice, what would you say? What advice would you give them? I guess I would tell them what I always tell the many women that I coach or mentor or even train. I would say really don't give your everything to your employer or to your whatever you're working for or doing things for. Try and make sure that you're focusing on yourself as well because I think women as naturals we, we want to do a good job we want to work hard, we want to do everything and we forget ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so important not to forget ourselves and keep yourself as part of that equation. The same way I work for a company, corporation, I'm also a corporation. Come up with a strategy plan for yourself, come up with goals for yourself, come up with some intentional thing I want to achieve. And when it's past six o'clock or whatever time, that stays, I'm now focused on me. Develop yourself and have a goal and a plan. I just did not think in my younger days to have a goal and a plan for myself, particularly financial goals. I think I always thought, oh, I'll get married, life will be good. Mm. I'll have a husband who'll work at it. And then it went so you're on saying so never rich. rely on a man. Yeah. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Build your own financial goals yes. even as you're growing. Do everything. Have a good life. Enjoy. But start focusing on... Because you're so much easier and cheaper when you do it when you're younger. Mm. You know, if you invest in something, it's so much cheaper when you're younger. So develop those skills early and, and, and invest in yourself financially early. Look after if yourself. If you're wondering why the career... I mean, the answer is so career-based. Like, in this house, we're very career minded but i think that is such a good piece of advice to invest in yourself as much as don't give yourself too much to like your employers or to whatever invest in yourself too yeah. what about in terms of relationship and just general life and Ooh, i'm not so good there yeah neither <laughs> cheers <laughs> cheers cheers cheers, cheers that mom cheers um which high school did she go to and which part of kenya did she grow up in she being you she okay. was a bougie babe <laughs> mary has been bougie since day dot i'm a nairobi child i know most of you think you're nairobian sorry there are people who are in nairobi before you in the 60s so i've always been a city child a city, city girl, girl. Hey, mary, you're a city girl. <laughs> Yeah. Um, my father worked in the railways. I was actually born on a train. Yeah. So, we, you know, my first school then was very prestigious. called St. Peter's no. Clever School. Oh. Mm. You didn't know. It was being honored by government the other day. It's one of the oldest schools in Kenya. It was in the Paris the other day. And so I went there like only one year. Then we went to I went to Molo. 
um, convent school, Irish dance, Scottish dancing. I knew how to do Scottish dances. All of her teachers were white. Yeah, or British. Or, or British. British. Not and Scottish and Irish. And Scottish and Irish. Mostly Scottish, Scottish and Irish. Scottish is British, yeah. Northern Ireland. Okay, fine. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, then I went to Muru Girls, which is a very private school. We only had about less than 100 students, and it was literally tiny school. We were famous for music, and that's what we did. Hmm. And then to answer your that, very simple question, it. she went to high school in Muru Girls yeah. and grew up in. Nairobi. Boys to avoid. What kinds of boys should we avoid, mom? Handsome boys. <laughs> mm. Handsome boys. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Better to marry an ugly man <laughs> because their character, they have to work for it. No, but then they They're have smart. insecurities. No, no, no. They, no, no, they, no. Ha they, they have, have to work harder. They yeah, have to have, have something extra. No, not okay, not very, very ugly. <laughs> ugly enough. No, unattractive. <laughs> Handsome boys. Okay. Mm -mm. That's They're pretty sweet. boys, no, never. What are some things that your mom does that you find annoying? Well, in this video, she me, me. talks and talks and talks, and I love it though. But it's like, I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this. Yes. But yeah, what else? Even with my kids. Oh, she always, so thinks she's, she always thinks she's right. Mm -hmm. You always think you're that's right. That's and true. I also sometimes- But I am right, sort of. <laughs> okay, let's get into the juicy bits. Your best and worst of Cami's relationships. So the boys I've dated, if you had to rank them, not using names, but you only know two. Uh huh. Two. I don't know one. The one maybe. <laughs> the one. The pretty one. <laughs> anyway, guys, I thank you so much for watching. Boyfriend? No, <laughs> you know he was a boyfriend. You didn't know he was a boyfriend. I only know one, really. The one. Yeah. No one. Anyway, yeah. cheers to you. Who one. looked very nice uh, until I heard. He was nice. Everyone has their flaws, but his flaws really just. Okay. We just weren't waiting. And we all have flaws, so. There's somebody else for him, and there's somebody for you. Exactly. How would you react if you heard your daughter was having sex? I don't even know the answer to this. I think I assumed you were. You just assumed I was. Yeah. Why would you make that assumption? Because of my age. Yes, you're 21, and you're in Europe, and you're in. <laughs> university and hormones rage in university. I was in university, I'm not like silly. I was in university, I know. Okay. So I just assume, I just. We just think. never talk about it. We never talk about it, <laughs> ever. We've never talked about it. Or once. I do wanna. Oh, when, yeah, when she gave me the talk when I was 12. Yeah, fine. No, there's another time. Oh, what's the most trouble I've gotten in? <laughs> You know, we can talk about it. Your school. Oh, when they called me. No, I was gonna say sneaking out of. <sighs> I think that's the most because you couldn't, I couldn't really get in trouble when I was all the but way those, in the UK. But those two were bad. Yeah, I because think, I think when that they was called the me, yeah, when they called me from the UK and told me what you had done and where you'd ended up, that was really I think... bad. Hi guys, future Kami here. Ed saying, I just want to interject. She's acting as if I killed someone because we never actually specified in the video what I did. But if you are a subscriber, you know what I did. I basically got suspended for drinking on site on campus. It wasn't a big deal, but the way she's phrasing it, you'd think I was, you know, going out murdering people. So yeah, just wanted to clarify that. Love you. I, I rarely so, mess up, yeah. but when I do, that like, big, that's like I could the believe it was you. Me too. Me that too, was, I was like, who are you talking about? Mokami, the nice, obedient, peaceful child who has, that's what Wanda tells me. Mokami looks so nice and sweet, but she's, she can do things. She's a cadaver sometimes. So that. And then, of course, the I think I was being out. a dumb teenager. Yeah. What do you think of, you know, my going out clubbing? I think it's too much. Even though she goes once a week or once every two weeks. I Guys, I much. work nine to five. I'm stressed like, and I can go out once on the weekend. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Honestly, I, I'm just afraid about Nairobi. All this life you hear people doping drugs and all these problems. I, I don't see why people go out. Okay, maybe I went out on OCR. But honestly, uh, yeah, I worry I think... throughout. I'm up at night. No, and I, I, I feel bad like, that yeah, like I, I worry don't. you. I worry. But at the end of the it's day, it's not you. I worry about the society and the people. So you're not really worried about poor decisions. I mean, no, it's no, more never. About... It's, it's the environment and the people. Because going out in the UK is different. Right. Going out here, Uber people. Yeah, I feel like taking a stranger doesn't Uber, mind. Uber, and all that. No, I. I wish you didn't have to go out at all. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, second battle. Let's do it. Children, this lovely. Uh, Clear water, Sauvignon Blanc, is a New Zealand wine, it's a Marlboro, and that's actually got a very high rating. It's a wonderful 
kind of a, it's a bit calm. backwards, but yeah. Yeah, so Nairobi worries me. Yeah, going out to Nairobi. So it's not so much like it's not you. No, 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 no. And no. I'm happy that she trusts me and she knows my character. No, you I trust, but you know what I tell you about, you know, leaving your drink open. Yeah, no, and and you know that I've trained you. People can slip something into your drink, you know, at you know those drugs and all yeah. that so um no no it's a big no if i could lock you up in your room like uh, what is that girl with rapunzel. the long hair rapunzel okay but i would how lock you up <laughs> you don't have to go out you don't go anywhere you don't get into car accidents but because all know. you young people i hear car crashes i, I hear terrible I hear all those things, so that's what's and me. and I I told it's not you. It's a society. I, I a thousand percent understand where we clash is that bad things happen. I don't think I should be punished, and I should not live my life and experience life because of that. It's inevitable. Bad things will always happen. We've been so blessed, and nothing too bad has ever happened to me. Nothing bad has happened to me, or those very very close to me. I think we should lead with caution, but not to the point where I'm not living. I'm just here to survive. And There's a difference between surviving and living, and I think human beings, we've we've cracked survival. I Let's hear live. you, but what I say, going out is not part of survival. Going out is it, a no, luxury. It's, it's living exactly. It's living. And it's I not. Think, it's luxury. It's not it's luxury. It's an extra. I think so. One needs to be social... careful. Learn okay. from what's happening and say where should I go? What time should I go? What systems to have around you? That's why I used to send a security guy with you. She used to when hire a bodyguard no. for me. It's not just me. You no, even no, had no. another friend yes, who hired. Yes, 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 and yes, there are many yes. parents. And any parent I talked to, they said, yes, we would hire security people, proper trained police security people or ex-police or ex-army because you want to be careful. <laughs> well, is that happening again? <laughs> but I'm just saying like, Having that um, experience of being social and going out and everything, it's integral because you know how to relate to people, you know what to do, you know what, not what to do. You you learn as you go. That's you know this is a good club. That's where I differ. You don't know. No, but you learn as you go. One, but I just learned. come from the UK to Kenya. There are people who are older than you. They know the Kenyan scene. And that's why and younger people to who think that, oh, I've just come, this place is safe. And you have no, no idea. No. Mom, I think, I think we're on, more on the same page than you realize. Mm. Because I think I heed advice from my elderly companions, being you, being the 29-year-olds, my brother even. Like, I think that's fine. But I shouldn't have to not go out because of the dangers. I should leave with caution, have people around me, whether it's Mwenda, whether it's my older boy cousins or whatever which I, which I usually or if ask. we go out in a big group which I always do it's never just like two girls and we're going to the club like this no you know what I mean I know and I agree but all I'm saying is you don't have all the information okay let's finish on a nice mm -hmm. note in this very long video that you have to go edit <laughs> by the way if you reach this point you're a real one and I love you and thank you for sticking around your first ever mm -hmm. that you can remember mm. boyfriend story we have to share <laughs> both of ours i have kept it in my memory is something i think about every three for five months maybe mm -hmm. that was the love of your life mom maybe but it was so young but yeah. no not every five six months but maybe twice a year three times a year mm. and i wonder what happened to him my first love story Was in primary school mm? as you heard i went to a boarding school and i went to a boarding school in standard two and it was very much catholic so we used to have altar boys so there was this young outer boy that i really liked and all i remember his name was joseph very lucky what are boy. we on i've never told you this ever told you this Gosh, you said it's like, honestly can i tell them what my father's name is yes my dad's name is Joseph as well, and I think you have a type. And he's also tall, dark, a bit lanky. <laughs> Just picture, I never picture thought of my that. brother, I never but thought. like taller. I never thought of that. And you have a type. He was a kind of a shy, but he used to look at me from the side of his hand, and I used to look at him, <laughs> and we used to write these little silly letters. See? But when we, when I sort of, I don't know what happened. I think I graduated and I left Molo and I went to high school. But I still wonder what happened to Joseph. Because he liked me and I liked him. And I Joseph, was thinking, where are you? Not, I even, by the way, let me tell you, I swear, I googled him. I went into, stop it. <laughs> <You should not laughs> like five years or ten years. Oh, 
five or eight years oh, ago. Mom. I did everything, but I could not remember his other name. Yeah. So I go to Molo, everything. Yeah. I, I don't know, he must be dead or maybe he's a God crack, for he's, he's a seventy year old man or sixty five year old man. And that's all I remember. But it was it But was, did you guys have a day? No. But you were just, just really, glances and writing letters and this smiling at each other. It was and primary. primary. Yes little girl and there was a tiny little boy he was probably 13 or 11 and i was probably seven or eight i mean this is a little kid little stuff. kid star do you remember that guy in primary that slapped me and wanda came with all of the the guys the guy who loved you forever which one this one who loved you too much and then they had to oh be no, no, no 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 not that one, one. Okay, which one? Which one is it? I don't remember the one who slapped you. Sorry. But yeah. Wow. Our first, first loves. No, but that was my one first love. One hit you and one. My, my first love mm. was either the one that just passed or that pretty boy. Okay. I'd say the pretty boy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he was so pretty. There's something wrong. With he him. wasn't pretty. I, I still remember him at the lift. I was pressing the lift and I was talking to him. I was. I. I just felt uncomfortable. He was. Too pretty. Like, you see why my mom told you guys to go for ugly man? Because that's her time. Too that's her time. Oh, you're so pretty. Well, mom, thank you so much for being on my channel. Oh, I've had so much fun. I really know what the video to end. And um, let me know if you want more mother daughter content. I don't know why we're so far away from each other, but we're just trying to be professional. Mm -hmm. As much as she's not um, emotional, uh, we're I a very you. touchy feely family. So thank you guys so much for watching and for accepting my mom because I already. You know you love her huh? you know me i fear comments <laughs> oh yeah yeah be nice to my mom in the comments if you're not nice to my mom in the comments you I'll know my own by your channel i have i have this yeah I've my mom has a youtube channel but i disengaged or yeah. disabled what's it called disabled, disabled. i don't know i told you i'm not good at feedback thank you for making me the woman oh, i am today mother i love you my i pleasure. would be nothing without you mm. And yeah, like I said guys, if you like this video, subscribe, comment, all of that stuff. If you want her back, let me know. And we'll see you guys very soon. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye.